Standard use of bamboo materials for dunnage. Due to the large global demand for rice, most bagged rice cargoes are carried in bulk carriers that do not have fixed dunnage or spar sealing as seen in many traditional tween, decker and general cargo ships. For these vessels, portable or disposable dunnage is used to protect the cargo from damage. A very commonly used dunnage system consists of bamboo poles and matting or craft paper laid on the tank top, side shells, and bulkheads. First, the poles are laid on the tank top in two layers across one another, creating a square or diamond pattern of approximately 25 to 30 centimeter sides. This size is designed to prevent bags from sinking due to pressure of cargo on top and touching the tank top. Smaller squares are created for longer voyages and larger for shorter voyages. A similar pattern is created on the lower side shell plating and fore and aft bulkheads. The arrangement is then covered with bamboo matting. The bagged rice cargo is then loaded on top. The poles and matting are continued up the ship sides and bulkheads as cargo is loaded. Finally, a layer of craft paper is laid on top of the bags of rice. The bamboo poles and matting separate the bagged cargo from the ship's plating and help protect it from ship's sweat. The advantages of this dunnage system is that it is cheap, lightweight, and made of biodegradable material. To be properly effective, however, it must be carefully laid and attended to whilst loading progresses. Where poles are broken or matting torn and the cargo bags left touching the ship's hull, considerable moisture damage may occur. The bamboo poles themselves may not be properly dry before laying, and pass moisture into the cargo. Similarly, the bamboo mats can simply absorb condensation and pass it on to the bagged rice. Despite being biodegradable, some countries that import rice do not allow disposal of bamboo materials on completion of discharge. Ports in Chile and Peru do not allow disposal of bamboo dunnage materials.